next thing he, from here I like to do is okay tune into the ATIS so go to your V pilot V pilot oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, V pilot ATIS is one three six decimal five two five yeah so double click it EGLO it is the bottom oh, one. yeah um and it says information echo right so you have to remember that information oh, echo. so that's what you what gotta mention say? uh so when you see the green text it's gonna say this is yeah. egl information echo at time blah 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 and um mm -hmm. the the thing you have to remember is information echo like that code like e when okay. you look at egkk it says information delta but egl says information what echo. does that mean so it basically so it's like the code that you share between you and your air traffic control controller to make sure that you guys are on the are on the like same page you know what i'm talking about you guys both have like up-to-date information about like departure oh, runway yeah, and yeah, altimeter yeah, yeah. so instead of actually comparing okay altimeter is two nine or nine or two and you know departure ro runway two four right that's too much like too much too much information so what air con traffic controller like to do is they just give you a single code okay information echo then mm. yeah then then you guys make sure that you know all your information is up to date so instead of actually Wait, asking so yeah go ahead is this always a frequency on like a tile on like a uh, airport because i've been to some airports that don't have like a disinformation then uh yeah yeah then you you would skip that uh part and then you uh the air traffic controller is probably going to tell you to depart your own way oh yeah so this is only for okay, the yeah. class i i think the big airports yeah so this is like charlie airspace yeah exactly charlie airspace yeah um so it says uh obviously it, it displays transition level so for What's the uh, transition altitude for Australia? I've, I I I don't know. Like I've never been there, so I'm curious. Cause like in USA it's uh one eight zero, and in Asia it's one four zero, and then in Europe it's like it varies. Like it's seven thousand feet, six thousand feet. What's the uh transition altitude in uh, Australia? Um, um, I actually have a book that I actually um I want to show you. It's like a can you imagine like a file, like a folder full of like Transition um, altitudes. Um, of like, uh, approach um, charts. And oh. Hang on, I, I think I can search it up on. I can ask ChatGPT. Um, uh, ah, yeah. For Australia, it's actually and crazy. Usually, oh, let me see for the departures for Sid. They would back to you up to. Uh, it actually says it's 10,000 feet. That's crazy. Transition altitude says it's 11,000. 11,000. Oh, yeah, it says yeah, it depends. That's crazy. Like, I find it really interesting because everywhere you go in the US or Canada, it's flight level 180 everywhere. And everywhere you go in Wait, Asia, are you in, it's. Um, Los Angeles right now? I am in Los Angeles, yeah. Nice. I've never been to the US. It's a lot of homeless people. <laughs> I mean, I'm in a hotter place. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, it's not what you see on the TV. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, anyhow. Yeah, 11,000 yeah, 11, feet. So, uh, so for UK, it's 7,000 feet, uh, transition level. So it says on the ATIS, uh, transition level of 7,000. And then it also shows you, okay, contact with London control 127.83. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and uh sorry before that we got to find out which runway is in use so can you find it like obviously it's pretty uh sorry. arrival runway 27 and departure runway 27 right. right so just go back to your fmc what i like to do is just click egll um Wait. very top right sorry top left uh just the button the first one on the left that's an issue Sorry, that the first button from the top. Um, yeah, just uh, not flight plan discontinuity EGLL. Yeah, there we go. Just click it. Click okay. that thing. Yeah, departure. Click departure. There we go. And then you're going to be able to select the runway. And the 
two seven right right just tap yeah. it and then from here i pause and then what i like to do is i okay now let's tune into the obviously the atc so hey what's up guys john here today i want to celebrate with you guys the launch of my clothing brand shredded apart and shredded apart is really uh wear for everybody but specifically the reason i named it shredded part is because it explains different engineering parts like the rolls royce g90 uh engine that is on obviously on a 777 uh aircraft um, uh, made by boeing uh you can kind of see in depth of the parts that are inside of that engine and you know how it really works and um the clothing brand is actually um more like a streetwear because um it has like that really unique uh, design of like the cali calligraphic uh, font and everything i actually drew it myself using procreate so um hope you guys enjoy it i attached a link uh, below and on the screen um i have different editions that i just launched so please check out the shopping mall the shopify mall i just created uh, hope you guys enjoy it and you know share this video or actually if you actually post it on your Instagram tag or Instagram account I will give away a Airbus 320 uh, joystick this thing uh, to one of uh, one of hundred uh, people so as soon as I get up to hundred orders I'm gonna give away this uh, this is used but I, I'm, I'm planning on giving away a new Airbus 320 joystick so that fly simmers can actually fly your uh, favorite aircraft at home so uh, that's my plan and if you like the video please share it to your friend or family subscribe leave a like thanks for watching this video hope you guys have a great one bye Thank you.